The following is a selected video from masterthecontent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit masterthecontent.com. Your career, our passion. So what I want to do next is actually delve into the major divisions, the functional divisions of the central nervous system. Now I've already mentioned these, uh, and now we're just going to look at them with somewhat of a closer look. Now the nervous system uh, is functionally divided into what most people believe to be two main parts. I have three on the slide right there. There is the central nervous system, which consists of the brain and the spinal cord, the peripheral nervous system, which basically consists of all nervous tissue outside the central nervous system, so outside the brain and the spinal cord, and we also have the enteric nervous system. Now, traditionally, the enteric nervous system had been thought to be part of the peripheral nervous system, but uh, recently it's been found, or not recently, but since then it's been found that the enteric nervous system actually largely operates independent of uh, control by the central nervous system or by segments of the peripheral nervous system, so it can be thought uh, to some degree to exist on its own and for that reason we have three main parts with three major divisions of the nervous system the central nervous system the peripheral nervous system and the enteric nervous system now on the diagram we have on the screen right there we have the central and peripheral nervous systems the enteric nervous system is not depicted but you should know or you should understand that it's pretty much the brain of the gut uh, located in the gastrointestinal system